Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Also, good morning, Bitcoin 46k. Yes, we are on the way to that 48k that I predicted a couple of weeks ago, of course, guys. Now, today's video is an amazing video. I have four amazing Bitcoin charts. I have an amazing trading tip. I have an amazing travel tip. Of course, talking about the news, and there is something huge, 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 massively huge happening in Japan. And Yes, also giving you some live advice. Short but powerful video because I don't have too much time today. Sorry, I'm not on the beach in my beautiful garden. Be happy with that. Give it a thumbs up and let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what is the fuck is happening to Bitcoin. Bam. First chart today, guys, is of course this four hour chart uh, by bit perpetual contract look what a beautiful buy signal over there guys on the indicator that we use with the bitcoin family a buy signal a candle closing above the yellow stepping line beautifully let's look at the other parts of the indicator yes the blue line was crossing the white line the white line was bottoming out and turning up we had green on the bottom and we even had the green line on top as we can see over there there was a quadruple confirmation of that long to take if you took that long you would probably still be in the long and you can see that we are running into resistance when we look for example at the one hour time frame now just to show you and we can see that there indeed there was already a sell signal because we are running into that resistance if we stay above the yellow stepping line on the one hour then the four hour is still intact as well probably then we will reverse again and go and try to break that 48k level maybe even go to 50k so if you are in this trade with a four hour signal then you could still stay in the trade if you want to take profit because it is a shit with a profit then you can take profit because always remember in bitcoin one rule profit is profit there will always be another trade if you take profit in this one, you can breathe again and you can take another trade again and again and again because 10% profit is always 10% profit when you make it at 50k, 60k, 70k or 100k. If you are a trader, it doesn't matter on which levels you take the profit, that what matters is that you take 10% profit. Now, let's quickly jump into uh, some more amazing charts to show you what kind of profit I made with this trade. As you can see, with this trade, I made 28.12% profit. And why was I stopped out, out of the trade? Because of using the trailing stop loss. Because last night when I went to bed, I was like, oh, this market is really volatile. Let's put a trading stop loss in of $600. So if we drop $600, you can sell my position. So we went, of course, up all the way to 47K almost. Now we dropped six hundred dollars so there at forty six thousand at three hundred seventy three dollars uh, my trade was stopped out but it still was a twenty eight point twelve percent trade beautiful trade Again, given at the Bitcoin Family Signals Group that you can enter for free, go to the bitcoinfamily.com and look in the products menu and you will see how to get access to that Signals Group for free, guys. Now, the first chart that we are going to talk about is this one. We can see on this beautiful monthly chart that there is a long signal given in this indicator, guys. That same indicator has been flashing only three times before in Bitcoin's full history. The first time we had a massive run. The second time we had a beautiful 2017 bull run. The third time we had a 2021 bull run. And now the fourth time it just started to flash. And a lot of people might say, is it not too late to step into Bitcoin? That depends all on which targets you have as a bull market top. For me, the target of 100 to 160K is beautifully. But if you listen, for example, to Plan B, he has a target of 500k. If you ask many of these professional investors, they are all targeting around 200k levels in Bitcoin. So no, it is not too late to get in. The signal just flashed. And after that signal flashed in the past, we always went massively up. Beautiful chart. Then we have this one. This one also showing you exactly how these four-year cycles move. Look at the top, 2011, 12, and then 13. Then there was the first market and the first real four-year cycle in my honest opinion was 14, 15, 16, 17. Then we had the bear market in 2018. Then we had the pre-bull in 2019. Then we had the first part of the bull in 2020. And then we had the second part of the bull in 2021. Now just add up four years to every one of those years. 2018 becomes 2022. Yes, it was a bear market in 2022. 
2019 becomes 2023. Yes, it was a beautiful pre-bull of 160% up in 2023. 2024 will become the same as 2020. Massive first part of the bull run. And 2025 will become the same as 2021, the last part of the bull market. And then 2026 again, four years later than 2022, will again be the bear market. That is how simple it is to look at the four-year cycle. Then we have this chart, the Bitcoin realized cap drawdown. We can see that the drawdown, the max drawdown of the realized cap was 19%, guys. At the moment, the drawdown is around 7%. So the realized cap at the moment is at 436 billion, guys. If you look back to the realized cap all-time high, that was at 468. 8 billion and that was near the all-time high of the previous bull market we are now just getting started and we already are at a realized cap of 436 billion this is amazing we can see the decrease in the drawdown this bull market is just getting started guys very interesting chart pause it to analyze it yourself a little bit more then we have this chart the realized capital to valuation change ratio we can see how beautifully in these four year cycles, every time we see the same beautiful movements. We can see the realized cap 90 day change. We can see the market cap 90 day change. We can see also the unsustainable levels on the bottom where these gray huge peaks are around like 1.7, 1.1. Beautiful to see. We are just at the bottom now of these gray areas. We are also at the bottom with a yellow market cap 90 day change percentage line. We are now above that realized cap 90 day change line. Look what this chart is showing you. Look to the previous time we were around these levels. That was the start of a massive bull market, guys. And we're going to see a massive bull market again and maybe even bigger now because of all that liquidity that's coming into the market because of the spot ETFs. Amazing charts with a lot of data. We have this one, the Maya multiple. I've been talking about the Maya multiple now, I think for more than four years, guys. And every time this chart shows me exactly when to buy Bitcoin, when to sell Bitcoin. Look at that blue line. Look how beautifully when we near that dotted line, that horizontal dotted line, how beautifully every bull market starts around those levels. Every time. And we hit that dotted line already in the beginning of 2023. And we hit it again now in December 2023. So that's the second red cross that is being made on this chart over there. The moment we will break that dotted line with that Maya multiple, that is the moment we go into that first phase of that massive bull market. That will be now in 2024, guys. And the moment we will reach that pinkish line there, you can see that horizontal line. That is the moment when the bull market top will be in. That is the moment when you should be exiting or taking your profits if you want to take profits in fiat currency to multiply, of course, your Bitcoins. You need to do step two as well. You need to exchange into stable coins, wait for the bear market bottom and buy a shitload more of Bitcoins back because Bitcoin should be your unit of account. Very interesting chart. Stop this video, analyze the chart a little more. For example, the months that you can see in between these peaks, 16 months, 14.5 months, 33.5 months at the moment. Uh, just look at the chart and analyze it a little bit more. There's a lot of cool information. Now, then the last part, of course, the spot ETF that we are all talking about. Look how many companies are applying for the spot ETF, guys. And now they all adjusted their fees. The fees were all given yesterday um, to the SEC. We can see fees of 0.39%, 0.8%, 1.5% for Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. So these fees are all now calculated in the recent filling. That filling was on the 8th of January. Now, we are still expecting that the SEC will approve or disapprove the first spot ETF on the 10th of January. If it doesn't happen on the 10th of January, it will happen probably in March this year. But I still have the full trust that uh, we will see a spot approval now in the beginning of 2024. And yes, that will propel Bitcoin prices to 
more beautiful highs. I hope you really enjoyed these charts, guys. The charts are always amazing. Yes, of course, short term, very beautiful, very bullish, probably going to 48K, maybe even touching that 50K level, guys. It is an amazing time for Bitcoin. And like I told you, 2024 is gonna be a bull year. And of course, we can still see a retrace when we touch that 48K or maybe from this level already for 10% of 20%. It's gonna be a volatile year, but a beautiful year if you are able to zoom out. Don't freak out about that short-term volatility. It doesn't matter. Zoom out. Look at the bigger picture. We are going to go up this complete 2024, maybe even reaching like 70 or 80K already this year. And then 2025, you will see new all-time high of that beautiful bull market, a top that will be never forgiven anymore by anyone because it will be above 100k in my honest opinion guys amazing two upcoming years you should be full in bitcoin like i've been telling you for the last weeks yes the higher we go the more you will start to doubt oh shit now it's already 50k should i go in now 60k should i go in now 70k ah let's go in 70k you can easily from this moment still 1.5 x your capital if you start to go into bitcoin now let's jump into trading tip to show you some beautiful advice when it comes to trading my trading tip for today is not really a trading tip it's more a trading live advice guys start to use bitcoin as a unit of account meaning start to treat bitcoin as your main currency not the dollar not the euro not any other fiat currency bitcoin should be your main deflationary currency why very simple let me give you a beautiful example that fits our family let's say i wanted to buy a 300k house in 2017 with my bitcoins at that moment it would have costed me 100 bitcoins Let's say I want to buy the same 300K house now today. Today, that would cost me 7.3 Bitcoins. So what costed me 100 Bitcoins a couple of years ago is only costing me seven Bitcoins today. This is exactly showing the advantage of treating your Bitcoins as your core currency, deflationary currency. The longer it will take, the more you will be able to buy for one single Bitcoin. I think in the far future, that same house that I want to buy for 300k, I can easily buy with one Bitcoin. So started with buying a house for 100 Bitcoins that I can buy today for seven Bitcoins that I can buy in the future probably for one Bitcoin. That is the power of Bitcoin. It is exactly the opposite with euros or dollars or any other fiat currency. You can buy less for the same amount of dollars every single year. That house of 300K in 2017, if I had 300K in US dollars at that moment, I could have bought that house. If I would have that 300K today, I can't buy that house anymore because of inflation, even the house prices went massively up. That same house will probably cost now 400K or 500K. So that 300K that I have now, because I saved it all those years, doesn't buy me shit anymore. Same with the groceries. The same $100 that in 2016 filled up your whole grocery car is now only filling up one fifth of that same car. With euros or dollars, you're buying less and less and less every year. With Bitcoin, you're buying more and more and more every year. That is why you should treat Bitcoin as your unit of account. Because I hear a lot of you speaking about, yes, I'm going to take profits at the top into US dollar or euros or USDT or any other stablecoin. Of course, if you still treat euros and dollars as your unit of account, I understand this. But never forget the reason why you're taking profit. Because at that moment, when Bitcoin reaches, for example, 150K, you are taking profit in US dollars or any other stablecoin to buy back more Bitcoin, your unit of account, your core currency. You're multiplying your Bitcoin capital, not the other way around. 
And the moment you start to live that all-in Bitcoin life that we have been living for the last eight years almost now, that is the moment you will see your capital grow, you will see the possibilities grow, and you will understand why Bitcoin is that first store of value, peer-to-peer -peer cash, providing freedom to everyone all over the world. So the trading tip for today, guys, treat Bitcoin as your core currency, your unit of account. And then you will completely start to understand why you should have been doing that for the last eight years already. Let's jump into the next part. The travel tip for today, guys, is about which country to choose when you start traveling for the first time. A lot of people ask me that question. I would always choose Thailand. Why? Because the flights to Bangkok are pretty cheap from all over the world. Then from Bangkok, you go to Khao San Road, where your big adventure starts. You will be amazed by the busyness of Bangkok City and how beautiful it is and how many use Bangkok as their starting uh, city of their trip. And then from Bangkok, you can travel all over Thailand because it's very compact. You can take the night train to Chiang Mai and do a beautiful circle over there to go to Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai, to Pai, maybe even to Mae Hong Song, all those beautiful northern cities. Then you come down again, you visit the Erawan waterfalls, for example, and then you go to the beautiful islands, for example, Koh Chang or Koh Samui or Koh Tao, Koh Pangan or Phuket on the other side of the coast. And that is then a very beautiful trip that you can do in one month time with your family backpacking. You don't need to book all these hotels and everything up front, just your arrival hotel in Bangkok. And from there, you decide, okay, where do we go first? Do we take the night train to Chiang Mai? Okay, we will find a beautiful hotel, for example, on Travala.com, where you can book your hotels with Bitcoin, and you will find a beautiful hotel there in Chiang Mai and stay there for a couple of days as long as you like it. Ah, we want more relaxed feeling? Oh, we go to Pai and the beautiful hills there. Ah, really beautiful hot springs and all that stuff. Oh, we want to see the long necks. Yes, you go around the corner to Mei Hong Song, you beautiful long necks. Oh man, we have been traveling now so much. Let's go back to the south, to the islands and enjoy a week on the beautiful pristine white beaches with palm trees. Thailand has it all. Amazing food, amazing people, amazing infrastructure. Traveling is really easy. You can do flights, you can do buses, you can do uh, airplanes, you can even do mini events, like private mini events. There's so much possible in Thailand that makes it the perfect country to start your world trip because it's very simple, it's very easy, everyone speaks English, the food is amazing, the people is amazing, the country is amazing, and the weather, of course, is also amazing. As you can see, every day I am walking and talking in the sun. That was a travel tip for today. Start your trip in Thailand. The news for today, guys, is amazing news. A very big Japanese online store, like an online marketplace, Mercari is its name, starts to accept Bitcoin from June this year. So from June this year, on the biggest marketplace of Japan, you will be able to pay all your goods with Bitcoin. To give you an indication, Mercari has 22 million users monthly. 22 million users monthly and they are still growing. And now all those users will be able to buy their goods on this marketplace with Bitcoin. That is hardcore adoption in Japan. Japan has always been this pro-technology country and now finally they start to adopt Bitcoin, the gold, the peer-to-peer -peer cash, of the 21st century. Amazing news. Just imagine Mercari, one of the biggest online marketplaces starting to accept Bitcoin. Don't you think that Amazon now also wants to start? Or Marketplace, Marktplatz in the Netherlands? Or eBay? They should all now start to use and integrate Bitcoin as a form of payment. Because we don't want to pay with Visa anymore. We don't want to pay with MasterCard anymore. We want to pay with Bitcoin using the Lightning Network, zero fees. So all these massive marketplaces worldwide will now be looking at Mercari. Look what these guys are doing there in Japan. They are now providing their 22 million customers every month with the possibility of using Bitcoin as a unit of account and to pay for the goods with Bitcoin. Again, Mercari is the largest consumer to consumer marketplace out there in Japan. This is huge news. 
every single peer-to-peer -peer or consumer-to-consumer -consumer marketplace worldwide will see this, will read the spot ETF news, will see the adoption of Bitcoin in the institutional levels, will see the adoption in the retail levels, they will all be slowly forced to integrate Bitcoin into their marketplaces and start to use that as a possibility for their customers to buy goods with Bitcoin. Because there is demand. More and more people are holding Bitcoin as their core currency and so these marketplaces need to adopt because they don't want to lose you as a customer. So you should ask them in direct messages in their help desk, hey, when can I start to pay with Bitcoin? Bitcoin is my unit of account. Bitcoin is my core currency. I want to be able to pay with Bitcoin. And then slowly the whole world will be converted into being adopting Bitcoin as a legal tender for any service out there, guys. Amazing news in Japan. Let's see how fast all other beautiful big marketplaces will follow. Let's jump into the next part. The next part is answering a question of one of the followers. And the question that was, Zidi, if all the Bitcoins will be mined, this is going to be happening in the year 2140, to be very clear. We are not going to survive so long, probably. Um, we, at least I am not. But um, when all of those Bitcoins are being mined, where is then the incentive for the network to still mine Bitcoins? At that moment, in the year 2140, when all the Bitcoins have been mined, don't you believe that Bitcoin by then will be evolved into a real peer-to-peer -peer cash and that the miners that will make revenue out of just all the transactions being done with Bitcoin at that moment? And, and on that moment, probably the inscriptions and the ordinals have evolved to some complete new layer where will be seen as the new form of art, futuristic art that you can load to your television or maybe then there is no television anymore in 2140, probably will just be projectors on your walls. But then you will project the images of your art, your ordinals on the walls. Every time when you sell this ordinal or send Bitcoin somewhere or sell, for example, an inscription, there will be transactions done on the Bitcoin blockchain. And that Bitcoin blockchain needs to be maintained. And who's going to do that? That's going to be done by the miners. So that the miners will still be earning of all the fees of all the billions or trillions of transactions worldwide, or maybe even reaching out to Mars or any other planet that we might be living then. And still they're using Bitcoin because it's a digital peer-to-peer -peer cash that is also a store of value. So there will never be a moment that the miners won't be incentivized to keep maintaining the Bitcoin blockchain. They are not mining new Bitcoins at that moment anymore, but they are maintaining the blockchain and by that incentivizing themselves and all the fees they will be earning because of that maintenance. So that is the answer of the question. I hope you will be there for you in the year 2140 to witness that Bitcoin was adopted worldwide or maybe even like Milky Way wide, like everywhere, all the planets around us, universe wide. Uh, but let's see, guys, I will probably not be there anymore in like 120 years, but I do believe that the miners will always have their role in maintaining the Bitcoin blockchain and by that earning some fees uh, for the work that they are doing. That is the answer on the question. Uh, let's jump now into the next part. After a trading tip and a travel tip and the news, we are going to talk about a beautiful life tip. And the life tip for today is don't let your worst enemy live in between your ears. That's a very important life advice. The worst enemy can never be in between your ears. Just think about it. Which one is it? Fear. Fear is your worst enemy. Because fear only exists in between your ears. You determine if you fear a situation, if you fear certain circumstances, if you fear certain people, if you fear certain qualities in life, you determine if you fear it. And that is all happening in between your ears. And you must never let your worst enemy live in between your ears. So fuck that fear. Why does fear exist in between your ears? Sometimes you're even afraid for something that you have never experienced yourself before. You're just afraid for that certain thing because you hear fearful stories about that thing. Let's say, for example, an encounter with a wild bear in the forest. Yes, 
I don't like the bears, I like the bulls. So let's say a wild encounter with a bear in a forest. You hear a lot of stories about it, you see a lot of stories on Instagram and all those reels and all those short format videos all over the world, and then you see that people are fearful, but does that mean you also need to be fearful? You never experience it, so you won't be able to really know if you would be fearful in that situation. Maybe the bear is very nice. Maybe it will hug you. <laughs> maybe it will kiss you. Or maybe it will eat you. But as long as you never experience that situation, you can't determine that you fear for it. That fear is being built up in between your ears. Maybe that's not the best example. Maybe you have better examples, like examples that really could happen in life. But why would you fear it? Fear is your worst enemy in between your ears. In between your ears, you wake up in the morning, you're thinking, what should I wear? And there is a split of the second in the moment, at least it was at my brain at the time that I was still living there, Hemsville. Can I wear this shirt and this jeans and those shoes? Will people see it as a cool outfit or will people laugh about it? Will people, oh, no, let's not do the red hat because it doesn't fit my style and people will say, ah, oh, red doesn't fit you. Only that small part of fear already lives in between your ears. And because of that, you will always be the same you. The moment you will let go of that fear and start to dress different, start to act different, start to be different than the rest and the herd, that is the moment when the real life starts. Because you need to make sure that your worst enemy doesn't live in between your ears. Seriously. Just think back now, in the last 10 years, all those situations that you wanted to do something, but you didn't do it because you were afraid in between your ears. Something in your head said, ah, it's very exciting. Ah, don't do it, they might laugh. Ah, don't do it because maybe you will fail. That's all fear that's your enemy in between your ears. Because every time when you did do it, you became very excited, very happy, you enjoyed it, you grew as a person, confidence grew, everything grew because like, yes, I did it. That is the right feeling. That is when you beat that worst enemy in between your ears. And every single time in your life and you're able to beat that worst enemy in between your ears, you will grow more as a person. You will become fearless. And at the moment you become fearless, and say fuck it to everything you want to do in life, all things happen automatically. Your life will completely change. So get rid of that thing in between your ears that is holding you back from doing what you want to do. And maybe it is going all in Bitcoin, or maybe it is traveling the world with your family, or maybe it is buying that new iPhone to make videos or vlogs. Lose that fucking fear person over there start to embrace your gut feeling and ignore that person fear in between your ears guys so that is my live advice for today if you have never experienced yourself a certain situation don't fear it if you experience the situation and then you can say oh shit i really didn't like what i did then you start to fear it but not before that is my life advice for today, guys, and also the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and if you want to buy Bitcoins, use the link down below, for example, to buy Bit, where you get a shitload of bonuses, depending on how much you deposit, but you can also claim still the $20 airdrop, an iPhone 15 you can win, Bitcoin t-shirts you can win, and a VIP membership completely for free, also there for the grabs when you sign up to buy with using my link. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Wish an amazing day. Hopefully we wake up at 48K tomorrow morning. Bam.